Okay, so today I am going to clean out our camping bins. So we used to have a Tacoma, which is like a, you know, eco-sized truck, and we had to recently trade it in for a larger truck, which is behind me, because we're having our first baby, and the car seat in the Tacoma just was not fitting properly. So um, it's, I guess it's doable, but we're both pretty tall, and it just seemed like we wouldn't really have space to do much of anything else. So we upgraded to the bigger truck, but our Tacoma used to have the decked system in the back, so if you don't know what that is, it's like two built-in drawers, and we kept all of our camping stuff in there. So we never really had to like pack when we were going camping because it was already in the truck. So now I have to reconfigure all of our camping stuff into camping bins so we could toss those in the back of this for now because I don't think we're going to do the deck system for a while. So as I was looking, I realized we have a ton of bins with camping items that we haven't used in years. So I'm going to decide what to donate, what we need, and just figure out how to consolidate it all. So I'll show you what that looks like and then maybe you can have some ideas of just the basic things that we use for all of our camping trips. So we moved into this house in November, so it's been, what, like seven months? Um, so we're still kind of getting our shop area condensed and cleaned up and organized but just to give you an idea so here's a bin with like a camping mattress and sleeping bags here's some bins um, they do both have camping gear in them so i'm going to pull those out and i know that one of these is oops i think this is our um, propane heater for when we do winter camping in there these probably have camping stuff, but anyways, I have to go through, and here's like extra stuff for camping that we used to use. So I'm gonna pull these out and just see what we got going on. So these are the bins that were on the shelves, and then when we were getting ready to trade our truck in, I emptied out our deck system drawers. And so here's another bin of camping stuff. And then even the cooler <laughs> has stuff out of the drawers. So I'm gonna have to use these as well to get everything organized. Also on top of the tent, rooftop tent, there are a few bins that came out of the deck system and the storage that we had on top of the truck. So David made a good point. Instead of doing like these deep bins that you can't, well, that you can't see in um, and you have to dig through when you get to the campsite, I brought out some of these long clear bins that we had in the shed. Um, they have like fishing stuff and uh, Christmas stuff in them, so I might switch out and use those for camping instead. So this first bin is more so like our backpacking bin, but has some like things to replenish in our backpacks and some camping stuff, so I really don't need to go through it right now. This is the bin with our propane stove in it. We use this for winter camping. We pipe it in up into our rooftop tent and it just keeps it nice and toasty. Here's our stock of like camping backpacking meals. So this bin's not totally full. I'm just gonna move it to the side until I can decide what to do with it. Most of the items in this bin is when we first started camping. So it seems like stuff that we don't use anymore. Um, it's just odds and ends that we haven't gotten rid of yet. I'm going to start going through this bin and just decide like what to donate and what to throw away and if there's anything that we should be keeping. This bin mostly has propane tanks in it and there's a bag with some of our old like first aid kit stuff and then an like Orvis fishing bag. Mm -hmm. 
I decided to clean out everything else and just keep it as the propane tanks and then those camping meals, I'll just combine them into one. I was relieved to find that this bin was practically empty. It just has our Dutch oven and a few like random gadgets for David. Next, I'm gonna work on cleaning out these clear bins so that I can start putting all the camping stuff that we need in them. David and Tito working in the yard. He's planting trees or planting a water line to water the new trees. Okay, so what we've got here, um, I've emptied out the three clear bins. This is stuff I think I'm gonna bring inside and just use like in the house. If we ever use paper plates or bowls, I'll just replenish from the kitchen. And then I have mylar stuff that I emptied out of the clear bin, so I'll just put those back up on the shelf. This is like camping stuff that I think we might be able to use, but I just left it out so I could pack it if we need it. There's just a few odds and ends in here. So like those fans, we don't use every camping trip, but it's nice to have. There's some bear spray, I'm gonna figure out where to put it. Some extra roasting sticks, things like that. And then this is the you know trash. Here's some donate stuff. And then that one has the little propane tanks and then the food for camping or backpacking that we can pull from when we need it. And then I have another empty one I can use. So now I'm going to start pulling like the stuff that we've had in our truck that we always brought camping. So there's this bin and then the cooler has some stuff. So I'll start pulling that out and deciding where we can put it. Okay, I've gotten to a good spot to show you. I was able to consolidate the camping stuff that we need to just like go on a quick camping trip into two of those clear bins. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, so this first bin is mostly uh, kitchen. So, move the paper towels out of the way. So we've got like soap, toilet paper, um, baby wipes. This is salt and pepper. Got a few rags, things like that, um, some sponges to wash with. We also like to keep our bathroom stuff with our kitchen, like kitchen items. So I have um, extra glasses, there's like lotion and a hairbrush in here. Um, there's contacts and toothpaste and toothbrushes. This is a diaper rash cream. It works really well as a sunscreen for your face. It's like you could be on the sun and you wouldn't get sunburnt. So I keep that in here. <clears throat> we also have um, our kitchen like cooking items, so spatula, spoon, here's a knife. This is like the best invention. It's the Lodge pan scraper. So when you're cleaning your pans, you can just scrape the food out. Perfect. Also have like a can opener, some hot sauce. Oh, this is burn cream. So this is like the kitcheny utensils. These are our like pots and pans we use on our camp stove, propane camp stove. Um, so there's like two size pots and pans with lids. And inside, I have the like retractable backpacking bowl slash plates that we can eat off of. This is my <clears throat> my um, jet boil. I don't know if it's actually branded jet boil, but it's like a quick boil backpacking stove. David also has one. So this one is like a like an instant starter on it instead of having to use a match. So we mostly use this one if we need it. And then I have a few mugs and cups here. Also there is a um, wine opener. <clears throat> this is a percolator for coffee if we make that in the morning. Sometimes we do this route. Sometimes we just do a quick French press in the jet boil. Also we bring backup paper plates. 
here's some um, pot holders. <laughs> this is like a fire glove, so you can like stick your hand in a really, really hot area. Um, if we're cooking on the fire, this is good to pick up the cast iron. Cooking oil, um, a few more like travel mugs. There's another propane for the jet oil. Here's some cutting boards and underneath it, there's some extra utensils. And then this is our uh, water hose. If we need to get more water out of our jet pack, we can do, or our roto pack, we can do that. And then underneath it is our cast iron for when we wanna cook on the fire. Okay, so this second bin is just other odds and ends. Um, so starting over here, got some work gloves. Um, here's some like bug spray, lots of lighters. This is like refill for uh, this thermosel. It's good for keeping mosquitoes away. So we have some extra refills here for that. A lighter, cool cloth if you know what that is. Um, here's a hanging fan for the tent. This one's just some like Uno cards, a whistle. Also have our headlamps down in it, some pins, and then one of these. Oh yeah. So here we have a charger. It fits our headlamps. It also fits our um, mattress pump if we have to charge that up. And then it also fits the fan. So this is kind of like a, you know, one one and all <laughs> charger that we can use. Here's a lantern that you can hang or um, turn into a flashlight. This bag here has like some. I don't know the term triage, like first aid stuff in it, like a tourniquet, um, some like heat blankets, stuff like that. And then this is like a actual medic first aid kit with a lot of things in it, just in case. And then this is a mattress pump that we can plug into our generator if we want to fill up a mattress really quick. Um, also, in our rooftop tent, we've switched out the mattress. So we're able to um, like release all the air out of it and then we can fill it up when we get to the site and just have a nice plush mattress to sleep on. Here's, oh, these go in here. They're instant coffees, they go in the kitchen bin. We've got two of our uh, backpacking chairs that are just real compact, easy to set up, travel with. <clears throat> Underneath it, I have a few extra camp meal bags. Um, they're just backups. We don't typically eat them while we're camping, but just in case we need a quick meal. These are sleeping bag liners. I keep them with us all, like all times of year. I just feel like they're great for a blanket or if you needed to sit on the ground or something, you can always use these. Here's our propane hose. Um, we hook it up to our propane heater <clears throat> and also we can hook it up to our Coleman stove for like a long cook if we need to. Underneath that is our water filtration system if we need extra water. Also have our hammocks, hammock straps. And then um, underneath that, that rolled up inside this bag is our hose that we can use if we need to um, fill up with gas from our roto packs off the truck. Oh, and then back here I've got a little broom for a tent. So overall, like we'll be able to just throw these two bins into the truck and pretty much have everything we need for a quick like camping trip for a night or two. Um, we would have to pack a couple extra things. <clears throat> so like for instance, we'll have to like pack our camping stove. That used to be on the top bin of our Tacoma, but we don't have that set up on our current truck, so we'll just have to like toss that in the back. And then also I'll have to pack up um, like our tent we'd have to grab if we're not using the rooftop tent. Um, we still have to get a new bed rack to set that up. So in the meantime, we'll be using our gazelle tent to do some ground camping. And then I have a bin back there that has an air mattress and two sleeping bags in it. So we can like quickly grab that and just be able to camp overnight. And then obviously pack our food and our little camping fridge and our generator and we'd be ready to go. Thanks for watching. I hope this showed you that you can um, consolidate and just have a few items with you while you're camping. Doesn't have to be a big ordeal to get packed up. You can just have it all ready to go. If you're looking for more tips, tricks, gear reviews on camping or other adventures, then subscribe to our channel or you can check us out at exploringparks.com. Thanks guys, keep exploring.